This is 61A, lecture number one. For many of you, CS61A will be your first course in computer science at Berkeley. So if that's the case, welcome to Berkeley Computer Science. The main building for computer science at Berkeley is called Soda Hall. I'm John De Niro. I sit up there on the seventh floor. If you want to contact me, walking up to the seventh floor is not necessary. You could instead send me an email. Although often the fastest way to get your questions answered is to use the course forum at piazza.com. Now, if you want to talk in person, I'd be happy to talk to you. I have office hours. They will be held in 781 Soda. That's my office. I'll be there on Mondays from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and also on Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Now, in my experience, morning office hours are less popular than in the afternoon. So, in order to encourage people to come visit me on Thursdays, I'm trying something new this semester. I will bring my dog. You can also find me on Fridays, but you have to make an appointment first. Go to deniro.org slash meet, and then you can set up an individual appointment. If there's anything private you need to talk to me about, that's a good opportunity, because other people might walk in during the normal Monday and Thursday office hours. So come meet me sometime, or send me email. Now, I am the instructor for this course, but I really don't do most of the teaching. A lot of the teaching is done by the course staff who are a carefully selected group of individuals, most of whom who have taken this course before, enjoyed it, and contributed to it in various ways, by creating assignments, helping their peers, and otherwise just being wonderful people. So there are over 40 teaching assistants, technically called graduate student instructors or undergraduate student instructors, and they really do all the instruction. They run the labs, the discussion, and the office hours. There are more than 30 tutors, and these tutors are part of the course staff who really serve as your personal programming mentors. They can run small group sessions to help you out and also run large group sessions to make sure that you make it through all the projects. And finally, there are more than 150 people called lab assistants who are going to appear in lab and office hours just to ensure that you don't get stuck for very long. Now, where will you find these people? Well, most of the time you'll find them in Soda Hall, where many of your discussion and lab sections meet. For discussion, which starts this week, you normally do not need to bring a computer. But this week is special. So on Thursday and Friday, most of the discussion won't involve computers. But if you do want to bring your personal laptop, the teaching staff can help you get it set up. So there will be instructions posted online about how to configure your computer for this class. If you run into any problems, just bring it to discussion and we can help you out. Labs start next week. There's no lab this week. Next week's labs are very important, but they can be hard to find on the first day, so give yourself a little bit of extra time in order to discover where the labs are I'll give you a hint. They're deep in the basement of Soda Hall, where nobody can tell if it is night or it is day. Office hours for the teaching staff will be held in Evans Hall this semester. We have a room dedicated to office hours, which, as you may guess, is also deep in the basement. OK, let me tell you a little bit about the parts of this course. There is lecture three times a week. I will always post videos to cs61a.org before the live lecture occurs. Videos are the best way to consume lecture material. You know, you do need to understand the stuff, what happens in lecture, but you don't actually need to come to live lecture ever. Even this week, you don't need to come. You could just watch the entire lecture through this playlist which is a series of videos hosted on YouTube. And um, the wonderful thing about videos is that you're in complete control. 
If you want to pause me, you can pause me. Go ahead, try it out. You can run me at double speed, rewind, whatever you want to do to make sure that you understand what's going on in the lecture. Now, if you want to ask questions about the lecture content, you can use the course forum. That's what it's for, and I'll make sure to answer those questions every day, which is a much better deal than you get in live lecture, where you're stuck listening to me at exactly the pace that I actually talk in real life, and it's very hard to ask questions in live lecture because there are just so many people there. Now, live lecture does exist, and you are welcome to come. I'll be there. But I really do encourage you to watch videos instead. I have heard from many students that it's a better way to learn this material. This week, I'll have a special lecture schedule. In addition to the regular lectures, I'm going to hold each lecture one day early. So that means Tuesday, which might be today if you're watching this video right after I release it, I'm going to give lecture in a Wheeler Auditorium at 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. If you don't have a conflict, meaning some other required event, you're welcome to come to this lecture instead, which means you get to hear all the information a day earlier than everybody else. And to make it even better, I will throw candy in the audience on occasion and wear a funny hat. Coming to this special lecture on Tuesday is really a good idea, because Wednesday's lecture may be very crowded. This course has many more people enrolled than will fit in the regular auditorium. The reason that's not a problem is that most of you will switch to videos by the second week. Some of the videos will be recorded from previous semesters, whereas anything that I change about the course for this semester, I will create a new video. So you're always guaranteed that the video content is completely up to date. It's exactly what I would say in live lecture. Okay, so after you watch your videos, are you all set for the week? Well, no. There are things that you need to attend in person. Lab is really the most important series of events in this entire course. And the reason is that computer science is not about just absorbing information by listening to me talking. Instead, you have to try out solving the problems that are so important and fundamental to computer science. So to learn to program, you just have to do it. And you do it in lab. The nice thing about doing it in lab, as opposed to trying to solve all the problems at home, is that the lab assistants and teaching assistants will be in the room to help you out if you get stuck. And they'll explain concepts to you as you go, so that you get lots of feedback about how you're doing and lots of instruction about how the ideas in this course fit together in order to build useful things. Discussion sections are also essential the most important events in this course. Discussion sections are a chance for you to put down your computers and think through problems from beginning to end, just with paper and pencil, and talking to your peers in this course. Office hours are perhaps the most important events in this entire course. They're held um, every day starting next week, from Monday to Thursday, 11 to 5, and also a couple of hours on Friday. Now, the point of office hours is that you can ask about anything you want. And that means you can get specialized attention uh, if there's some particular concept or some question that's giving you trouble. Now, I've said three different things of the most important events in this course, and that's because different parts of the course work well for different people. So you're going to have to try them all to figure out what's the best way for you to learn. There's an online textbook at ComposingPrograms.com. The readings for each lecture will be linked on CS61A.org. There are also weekly homework assignments, two midterms, one final, several quizzes throughout the semester, and four larger programming projects. I'll announce all of those, but you can see them on the calendar at CS61A.org right now if you want to see where the deadlines will likely fall. There are lots of special events that are designed to help make sure that you succeed in this course. And that's the course.